Hello everyone, I'm Sean at Shock Surplus. Today we are just going to talk about ride control, upgrading your shocks, what to think about. Um, there is no blanket one best option for everyone's vehicle. Uh, we get a lot of questions about what's the smoothest um, shock for my vehicle, what's uh, the best shock for my vehicle. Uh, there's no one try and true answer all the time. Um, an off-roader <clears throat> needs uh, traction and improved handling and a soft response in very aggressive terrain. That's not the same for a daily driver that has a Toyota to sell, obviously. Um, people want smooth, plush riding shocks, but um, if you have a, this very smooth, we can make a, a shock extremely soft and extremely smooth on the highways, but guess what? You're not gonna have any handling or um, ride control. So there's always trade-offs in either direction. Most OE um, original equipment um, manufacturers like uh, Bill Stein or KYB, uh, Monroe, um, they are going to tune their shocks to be a little bit better than the factory shock. So still trying to achieve that, um, that comfort as if you just drove off the lot, but also give a little bit more improved uh, handling on the highway. Um, they're still trying to keep that comfort, but they're may, they might sacrifice some of that comfort for improved handling and longevity. If you make a shock too soft, then the internals might not be the best, might not last the longest. Um, all these different trade-offs are happening when you're considering shocks for your vehicle. This is a wide range of different options. Um, I don't think one shock here works on uh, the same application as any other shock. When we were talking about struts, this is a strut. Now this uh, basically is strut meaning that the coil spring for your car sits on the actual shock absorber. Um, with the spring seat here on the shock itself, that basically turns this into a strut. So a strut is, uh, basically holding your vehicle's weight, coil spring. Um, this bolts usually to one of the lower arms of the chassis. Um, <clears throat> another strut would be something like this. Vastly different design, um, different design requirements, but the coil spring is still gonna sit on the shock absorber. This coil spring seat is removable, so it's a shock by itself. Now basically it is a strut. Um, the technicalities uh, don't really matter too much when you're looking for a shock for a vehicle. A strut will pop up as well because typically that's only that's the only option for the front of it per se. Some of these other options here range in performance characteristics. Um, we got a really thick two and a half inch shock body over here for high performance needs. You have reservoir shocks here for other high performance needs. This Rancho shock right here is entry-level high performance, entry-level performance, maybe not high performance, but these have adjustable knobs on it. So uh, I turn it all the way to the left and it's the softest response. So the most plush ride per se. You turn it all the way to the right and it's gonna be the firmest response. We outfit heavy duty vehicles with these because the load, um, the load ratings of those trucks typically change depending on whether they're towing, whether they're hauling a bunch of heavy loads, Sometimes they need to adjust how their vehicle performs based on need and job. So on the fly adjustment um, is appropriate for them. We have these kind of adjustable shocks for a range of vehicles, but not all vehicles. Um, some of these here are monotube design, which means that uh, lots of oil volume for this body size. Um, whereas something like here is Adequate oil volume, it's a twin tube design, but the damping is achieved differently versus these. So no one solution that rules them all. Um, based on your needs, based on what you really want out of your vehicle, most people are just looking for a factory replacement um, that's gonna last them a long time and be dependable. We highly recommend something like the Bilstein for that because um, tried and true, been around for an extremely long time, very low failure rates. Um, we have a range of options, as you can see behind me, for many different vehicles. We encourage you to come to us and let us know, you know how, many, how much mileage you are putting on uh, your vehicle. 
Um, do you actually want just more road comfort and that's all you care about? Then we might consider just a KYB factory replacement. Very budget friendly, very easy, straight, no problems. If you want improved handling, but also some comfort, we might suggest a Bill Stein or a Coney. If you're looking to off-road a lot, the, how much off-road? Are you really off-roading a lot? Are you just wanting that improved control for just the weekends, maybe once a week, once a, once a month? Um, or is it happening all the time because you're van lifing? Um, all these things kind of come into play, and it's really what we're here for to, to drill down. There's tons and tons of options now for many different vehicles. Really hard to choose to see uh, which one is going to be best, what are the differences, um, it's so hard to get by some of this marketing language from manufacturers because one description bullet point does not describe how your um, Tacoma or your Tercel or your Honda Accord is going to respond. Um, so we do our best to consolidate a lot of feedback from a lot of customers, um, product reviews from a lot of customers, and we kind of look at those and determine which shock we decide to recommend for our next customer. So we're in the weeds on this stuff. If you have any questions regarding your specific application, leave a comment, um, shoot us an email at support at and we'd love to help. Thanks so much for watching.